hello and welcome to Wise Eyes. My name's Ethan. And I'm Sarah, and we'll be your hosts as we guide you along your Keratoconus journey. Keratoconus, <laughs> that is a mouthful. Agreed. Let's just call it KC for short. Sounds good. All right, first things first. What is KC? KC is a sight-threatening eye disease that usually first appears in people in their teens or early 20s, but it can affect older adults too. When you think about diseases, you don't typically think of young people being at risk, right? Right. Okay, so KC is sight-threatening, but what exactly is it? Well, to answer that, we need to go back to anatomy class. Ugh. This will be easy, I promise. Take a look at this. Do you see this dome-shaped area here? Yeah, sure, it's the front part of the eye. Yes, so this is called the cornea, which is essentially the clear covering on the front of the eye. So the cornea helps bend the light so that the eye can properly focus on objects. So, let me guess, Casey interferes with the cornea? Yes, if we zoom in a little closer on the cornea, we can see that it's actually made up of collagen fibers. Now, these fibers hold and maintain the dome shape of the cornea. So the collagen fibers are kind of like glue. Exactly. So if you have KC, these collagen fibers are weakened, causing the cornea to thin and form a cone-like bulge. So when the cornea bulges, it affects vision because it interferes with the bending of light? Bingo. That's why people with KC sometimes have blurry or distorted vision. So wait, uh, I have blurry or distorted vision sometimes when I'm not wearing my contacts or glasses, but I mean, that doesn't mean I have KC though, right? Not typically, but it is possible. Well, Now you understand why it can be so difficult to self-diagnose KC. Many people like yourself who wear glasses and contacts might not even realize they have KC because they just assume they need a new prescription. So someone could have KC and not even know it. Yep, but there are some signs to be aware of. Ghosting of letters or text, excessive eye rubbing, family history of KC, vision that can't be fully fixed with glasses or contacts, frequent prescription changes, difficulty seeing at night, and excessive headaches. So I suppose if you're experiencing any of those symptoms, you should probably go see an eye doctor and get your eyes examined right away. Absolutely. In the meantime, there are also some great resources you can check out, like livingwithkc.com, that you can visit to learn more. Hmm. Maybe I should go take a look. 